I want to be an engineer. I want to become a nurse. This is the third academic term. So far this is our sixth week in this term. We are preparing our candidates, the P7 candidates who are to do their PLOE exams. So we have been doing a, a, a very big job in preparing these learners for, for, those, for that noble exam, national exam. My name is Ramon Kelvin. I'm in primary seven. I have been a student here for one year. I have been learning about ways how people can worship God spiritually. I have been learning about technology, things that concern with the net and the world like those ones and I have benefited at this school to develop my talent. My name is Kamu Surihia. I am in primary 7 class. I have been a student at this school for 12 years. I enjoy speaking in public like when we are going for debating. I enjoy praying here. I enjoy studies. Even a, a game playing like netball. Spiritual guidance and counseling has been going on. We have had fellowships uh, concerning the challenges we have a lot. Like now, the major challenge we have now is of, of the children who are walking long distance. They report very late here. If we had like a school, a school shuttle picking those far children from those distances would help them. So we still have the water problem. So I would really think that if we are, we are to, to, to construct an underground water tank, uh, uh, water pump from underground, that one would be regular and not even seasonal. Concerning these young infants, the nursery children, they are living in, they are studying in a semi-permanent building. Those children really need environment which is conducive. They need permanent structures. In those buildings where they are living, there is a lot of coldness because they are constructed with the, with the timber whereby there are holes which are bringing a lot of coldness during their studies. The facilities that we have, sanitation facilities, are also not enough. Right now we have 402 students in the school, but they are using two latrines. Uh, I'm Emmanuel Mwesige, uh, director for Nyamabuga Foundational Schools. Um, one, of, one of the projects I started with uh, was this uh, secondary, which mom had uh, started. So I had to seal it off by putting uh, iron sheets on top of it. I had a project of a guest house which is now up and running. Then again I have a, uh, a dining, the dining which I'm, I'm planning to start uh, as soon as the kids are, the term closes for end of year. After the dining hall then again I go on the underground, uh, uh, the ground well which I'm planning to also start on. At the farm I have uh, some projects I've started there. I have two projects. I have one for uh, pigs, then I also have one for goats. I'm praying for funds to do some final touches so I can bring the kids and begin using these facilities. The likes of like uh, salaries, I have a very big challenge there. And, uh, and also I have a challenge from the parents who don't pay in time. I thank Sister Teresa who managed to raise for me some funds to uh, get the spare part for the tractor. Because the tractor is an income generating project for me, so I really want to thank uh, Sister Teresa, Brother Gordon, uh, Sister Christy, uh, Sister, uh, Brother Lance, uh, Alicia, Bettina, Rebecca, John, and uh, Paul. For really, they have been giving me some support especially like for the dining section where they, they gave me some funds to do the dining which was really necessary state. And uh, also they, they gave some funds uh, which had started on this secondary 
the lands are who gave me part of the funds to do the roofing of this of this uh, of this secondary for the doors and the windows may god bless you as you enjoy the festive season 